Hi, Dr. Joe. It's Deb, um, obviously. <laughs> uh, this is my second reflection, and um, I'm going to talk about a meeting that a couple of meetings that I had this week, um, which have the potential to create some major social changes um, in the entire CUNY system. Um, so basically, a couple of weeks ago, I met with Adam, and I wanted to, Adam's our uh, glasses advisor, and I wanted to talk to him about the possibility of doing the Safe Zone Project at QC. Um, and he said, it's been attempted before, but it didn't work out. Um, you know, and we talked about how uh, Glossa has grown a lot since the last time um, the members tried to do it, and so there's a much greater likelihood that we can be successful this time, um, just because we have so many more dedicated members um, and so much motivation to do this. So, I, uh, Jamie and I last semester um, created the CUNY-wide LGBT task force, which is basically like um, an inter-CUNY LGBT organization. And we created it so that we can um, connect with other CUNY LGBT organizations and try to coordinate the projects that we're working on um, and, and see, you know, if we can do bigger things all together. So we had our first meeting uh, on Friday and it was extremely successful. We had representatives from a few CUNY schools. Um, and after the meeting, I got um, I, people from CUNY schools who weren't represented at our meeting contacted me and said they're really interested to be a part of the next meeting. So it's, it's, it's growing and it's going to be awesome. But um, one of the projects that we talked about was the Safe Zone project and um, making it a CUNY-wide effort. Um, so as of now, Lehman College, Queens College, um, LaGuardia, LaGuardia Community College, City College, um, and the College of Staten Island are all going to um, do the Safe Zone project this semester at, QC, at, at their schools. Uh, so basically what we have to do is, um, well, the first step is to gather um, members of, you, of the LGBT organization at your school. Um, and and Glassa has weekly meetings, so this shouldn't be difficult. Um, and you have to ask your um, students or faculty and staff to write um, testimonies about experiences that they've had on campus where um, faculty and staff have been insensitive to LGBTQA people. Um, and I didn't think we'd find a lot of this at Queens College, but um, at our last Glossa meeting, I asked students, um, have any of you ever experienced any form of homophobia or heterosexism in the classroom? And, there were over 50 students in our meeting, and every single one of them shared an experience that they've had. Um, I'll give you a couple of examples. One one uh, student made a, said that uh, she was in her sociology class, and her professor, um, they were talking about nature versus nurture, and one of the other students made a comment about how if you give a little girl a basketball, the next thing you know, she's going to turn into a lesbian. Um, and the and the professor apparently just um, laughed at that and and didn't respond appropriately. Um, another example is one of our students was writing. A, this was also a sociology class. He was writing his final paper on um, something about transgender issues, and and he approached his professor about the topic. And the professor said replied by saying, um, he said, "Are you talking about gay men who who like?" to act like women, or are you talking about men who like to chop off their dicks? Um, and so, you know, I, I would never expect that here, but apparently it happens here. Um, and so something like the Safe Zone Project is definitely necessary at, at Queens College. Um, so basically we're going to write our testimonies. We're actually doing that this week. 
Um, and then after they're all printed out, we're going to create a little booklet of testimonies. And, uh, you know, we're going to include the names of the professors, the departments, and our own names, um, the class, etc. So, and the experience, obviously. So, once we have this booklet of testimonies, we're going to meet and organize a way in which um, we can partner up in pairs and visit every single uh, faculty member and staff member on campus um, with this booklet and approach, you know, approach them about the Safe Zone project and ask them if they would like to be involved um, and, and become a certified Safe Zone faculty member or staff member. Um, and if they're interested, we'll get down there, we'll take down their contact information. Um, and then the next step after we visited everybody is to, um, to create, to invite a professional Safe Zone trainer uh, to, to conduct uh, an entire day's um, training on, on sensitivity um, for faculty and staff members. Um, and then we would, we're going to email um, all of the professors who said they were interested in participating. Um, about the date and, and details of, of the training um, and if they attend they'll get a certificate or a sticker that they can place in their office or on their door um, stating that they're you know a safe zone certified um, faculty or staff member and uh, or an ally um, and hopefully um, they'll gain something out of that training um, and change the environment of the classroom in a way which will feel much more much safer for LGBTQA students. Um, and if this becomes a CUNY-wide effort, which it already has, but if, if each school can is actually successful in, in doing this, um, it can create some serious social change, which I'm really excited for. All right. I'll see you in class. Thanks. Bye.